Hello, I've been working on this project for a while. I'm connecting a Arduino to power a remote control car I had from a long time ago because I want to control it using Bluetooth on my phone or this controller, but I can't do that at the moment because I can only use it wired because using it with Bluetooth dongle uses too much memory for the Arduino Uno. So I have a USB shield connected and the USB port is connected to the PlayStation 3 controller. Then I have a motor shield on top of that. Uh, I'm using this ESC as a voltage regulator for the servo because I have too much current if I connect it directly to the LiPo battery um, and too little current if I try to connect it to a voltage output pin for the Arduino. Um, so this motor is connecting to motor one in the motor shield. Um, give me a second. And digital or yeah, digital input three is connected to the servo. So now as soon as I connect the battery, it'll all work. Um, actually, taking current from the battery and putting it into the VIN for power to the Arduino. Um, I don't know how, if that's good form or not, but it works. Give me a second. Or three. Okay. So right now I don't have a very good way of putting the Arduino on top of the car. There's not a lot of space. But right now I just have it so that this thumbstick controls the car. So moving it forward controls the wheels. Moving it. Yeah. And then you can move it side to side to turn the servos on top. Uh, and this is using the USB library for the Bluetooth shield. I can't really drive it right now because I can't put all this stuff on top of it. I don't have a good way of doing that. Uh, also, I didn't know this before, but apparently the the PlayStation controller has an accelerometer and gyroscope in it, so you can you can detect its pitch and roll. So I also made an option so I can control it with that. So tilting it forward drives it forward, and then tilting it backward drives it backward. Rolling side to side turns it. Um, so hopefully that'll be interesting in the future. Uh, ultimately I do want to have some sort of app on my phone that I can control this with, but I have to make that app and I don't know how to at the moment, but this is cool so far. I did most of this today. Um, and I hope that is interesting enough for you. Oh, also, I can't solve that Rubik's Cube, so don't ask me.